Hi. Hi. <laughs> I don't know what I'm thinking. We oh, who else had the same reaction? <sighs> um, we just are fitted. We no words. <sighs> no, nope. we just finished House of Sky and Breath, Crescent City, two. Literally, just finished. Okay, so we're behind the game. I was really mad, not mad, but bummed. I went to Dallas. I went to Texas mm -hmm. last week. Literally, when we got the book, so it kind of pushed us off, and. Normally, we try to read, like, a big book like this, a Sarah J. Moss book. We like to be done right away because we know they're huge. And every time I try to read, my husband would be like, are you really going to read right now? We are. You don't want to have dinner with me or <laughs> we're tied together. So I was like, okay, we put the book away. So I would read, but not as much as normal. And <laughs> that ending. I just, I, I can't believe I didn't read it soon. Like, I wish I was done with it. I knew it was going to be my book because I've seen people say like, oh, empty. Yes. And everything. Okay. This will be a non-spoiler and a spoiler. Yeah. We'll let that. you know when we're ready for the spoiler. So I'm you sorry. Can just my mind is just run like, on off. what does my kid say all the time? My daughter goes, mind blown. Yes. <laughs> I just, oh my gosh. Okay. So let's just go with the non-spoiler. This is, um, pull it out here, the second novel of Sarah J. Moss's Crescent City, House of Sky and Breath. And it's massive. It's huge. It was like huge. 800 some pages. <sighs> I thought this one was massive. And I thought, um, I didn't think it was that massive. Silver Flames was massive. And I was just like, man, this one's <laughs> massive. This is just like, <sighs> okay. So I'm going to say this. We have been saying this that. We loved Crescent City, the first one, House mm -hmm. of Sky, and, um, Earth and Blood. Sorry, we loved it, and we've been saying, "Was it as good as Akatar? No, is it still as good as Akatar? No, Akatar is just so special. We can't like really take what away about from Throne Akatar of Glass? I have not read Throne of There's Glass. There's so much, but this is what I'm trying to explain right now: is we can't like say it's as good as this yet, okay? But this book just proved, like we've been saying, that it's going to get really, really good. And I loved this book. This book is gonna get, like this series is headed to what we love about Sarah J Moss. It's gonna be just like her Throne of Glass and her Akatar. <sighs> Amazing. You know what? Oh my gosh. I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, just with, I enjoyed everything about it. Um, the first one was good, but this one. I love the first one. Yeah. This one blew the first one out of the water. And I absolutely was just enthralled in it. Um, so, ugh. okay. Did anyone else get like Throne of Glass vibes? Okay. Sarah has not read it. So we have decided she's going to start reading it. Because <laughs> I said, you have now got to read because. Yes. There is just so much, I think, that these worlds are, you know, kind of connecting, and you have to read yeah. these. So I'm going to make her read them. We're going to add them into our to be reads because she has to read them. But I got some Throne of Glass vibes. Okay, I've, I've, we've always get semi Akatar vibes, but this time I got a lot of Throne of Glass. For example, I felt like how, okay, um, in Akatar, you get other characters to come in, like, don't get me wrong, but it's mostly about like Feyre and Resend, and then you have the other ones. And then um, you had Nesta and Cassian, and then you have the other ones, but it's mostly like them, right? Yeah, it's centered around it's, them. Yeah, like going through Nesta and her drinking and her issues and this and that. It's more about them. In Throne of Glass, is especially as the books continued, you started getting all these characters, like little snippets of their point of views and like throughout the whole book. And it still had your main characters. Mind you, same with this. I felt the same way. Like it still was Bryce and Hunt, but with a lot, I loved getting to know more of Declan and Flynn. Yeah, I loved that. I loved really getting to know, um, actually I thought Cormac. I liked yeah. Cormac a lot. I love Therian. Yeah, Therian. We love Therian. I call him Ethan. She calls him Ethan. I call him um, Ethan. Loved Ethan. Yes, and I, you know, his story, I really enjoyed his story, but my favorite, I have to say, even, I mean, I loved Bryson Hunt, but Rune. 
loved Rune and Day. Night and Day. Loved it. Oh, it was so good. Rune would probably was... I mean, I read for, like I said, I read for Bryson Hunt because I love Bryson Hunt, but Rune in this book just made, oh, my this heart soared with me, it. This book's making me smile. Yeah. I just can't stop. I just loved it. You know what? I, I'm just going to say, because this part's a non-spoiler, go read it. Go read Crescent City, the first one. Go read um, House of Earth and Blood, and then go pick up this book because it is not going to disappoint. And it takes, it was so good. And it takes place... How many is it just a couple months after, right? Or it was like, yeah, a few months yeah, after, like, after six, was it like the I don't first know, five book. to six months or something? Like yeah, that. Or three so, months, I don't know. Three because months. it was spring and then you know it's it's probably like I don't know, fall, I think it's like winter, months. yeah, right at this point for the second <sighs> book. But Love man, it. this book was just Sergey Moss so did not disappoint. Good. And now and now I mean, again, non spoiler, we understand why everyone was just like Oh because we did the same thing. I think at the end I was like, oh, oh yeah. Um, Sergey Moss, I love you. I your mind is so darn brilliant, and how you think of these things because you set it up so perfectly. I hope you one day can hear me say this to you. You set these th these up. To, it's just so perfect. You know, she how all yeah. these things are intertwining, and it just makes so much sense. And congratulations on your new little baby, by yeah. the way. She's so cute. We saw it on Instagram, and uh, yeah, I saw. Um, I did see mixed reviews on the book. Um, especially towards the end, but, um, I, I, for one, I personally really enjoyed it. I loved it. So, um, I, I, I mean, we're going to talk more about it in the spoiler part of this. Video. I had no problem with it. I was totally for it. I loved every single darn second. I like five star. Yes. This is good. To me. And you know, like the whole premise, Bryce and Hunter brought our, brought back into, you know, this world of they have to, you know, find things out and everything. And, you know, they're trying to lay low from the first book. That's how it starts out. And, um, you know, things happen and they get caught back up in. They were told to lay low. Yep. And I think they were okay with that mm -hmm. at first. Yeah. You know? they, I mean, and they're like, we're going to get killed. They're going to kill us. But also Bryce, who yeah. Bryce is, you know, when something goes on, she wants to stand up for what's right and like. You know, she get they yeah. kind of get entangled into some stuff again. And the prologue um, uh, really sets it up for mm -hmm. this book. So, um, yeah, it's it's really good. And I I just I don't know I I don't know when the next book comes out. I heard it's in Probably a year. year. And so we heard, that I, we heard from you, Liz, that, that you heard rumors yes. that it's really Crescent City, the third book. Not Akatar, which we were so excited for. But now I'm okay. Yeah. I'm okay. So... This is probably it of our non-spoiler because we now got to get into our spoiler. Yes. I just can't. I can't. I need to I need to vent. I need to talk. I need to whatever. So this is your time to move Did on you, out. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. If you don't want to be spoiled. Okay. Okay. Oh <clears throat> my gosh. My mind is like. Who else saw that ending coming? Okay, so we talked about this. I knew, I, I figured this was all going to intertwine. Yes. I did not think yet. I did not think yet. There was a few things that she got me on in this book. Yeah. But I'm going to tell you, I really did not think what happened at the end was going to happen yet. yet. I really didn't. I thought we were going to get a couple more books in of Crescent City. And then things starting to connect. I mean, you started taking little things from, like, once they were talking about the star sword and then the dagger that's missing, you know, it's its twin. And I was like, and then it said, what was the quote? And it's for both, and it's, it was said in um, Silver Flames or one of the other books in Akatar. Um, something about how it needs to be, when it's re reunited, the sword and the dagger reunited, the Fey will come together or something. Is that right? I don't remember. I'm sorry if I don't have it, you know, to a T. But when it's when Bryce said that to Rune in I don't remember what chapter it was in, in 24, how, I think you told me. Yeah, okay, yeah. 24, chapter twenty four in Sky and Breath. I was like, wait. And then I went on and I looked at Truth Teller because I was like, okay, and I From know I, I was really careful. I didn't want to get spoiled on anything. I was like, that is the quote and so I, that I put together was Truth Teller and Star Sword. 
So I'm really interested to see how, because obviously now she's the ending. Okay, so there's other little things like, um, if you really think about it, Rune has the same skills as the Demonte. I say Demonte skills, I could be wrong on how you say that. Like um, Reason has, where they can mind talk. And the Rune shadows. can do that, the shadows. Um, we were picking up these things, like, mm -hmm. through the whole thing, and, like... The eyes. But the yet, hair. there are some things that kind of even remind me of Christ, uh, Throne, of, Throne of Glass, too. So that's why, like, these worlds are going to just, like... We knew the portals could open, and we knew that there's that chance that, like, especially if you have read Throne of Glass, and, and especially... Oh, I'm going to go... My, I'm, my mind is blinking, because I'm just telling you, I'm, like, so like this. What's the last book of Throne of Glass? Um, right here. Um, Kingdom, Kingdom of Ash. Kingdom of Ash. There's that snippet of when um, Aelin is like kind of finding, falling through the worlds, through the portals and worlds that she kind of goes past Reeson and Feyre. So I, you know that at some point it's going to like kind of come together. We yeah. figured that. I did not think yet, you guys. I really did not think yet. And that ending, the scarred hands. Okay, what's really funny is my daughter, so... It's just been a crazy week. I was gone, and then I've been, like, just working these long hours. My kids have all their, like, curriculum fair projects due. So I haven't been, like, like really, like, sleeping good, and so I've been falling asleep early. So she finished the book last night. I did not. I was, like, falling asleep. My daughter had to film for her project, so I was reading the book, and so I was like, oh, read the end to me, because she was listening at because I was at the end of the book to, just today. And so I was reading the end and I was trying to hurry because she's like, I got to film. I got to film for my project for whatever. So I'm trying to hurry. I'm reading that I went straight past scarred hands. Normally I would pick all those things up, but at the end of the book, when it said he let, like she landed on grass and she thought she was going to hell and like. I said to Sarah, I was like, Is, are they in Akatar? Yeah, she did, <laughs> but she still didn't. But I still wasn't sure. I think she didn't think it was true. She's yeah, like, no. I was like, I, I honestly, because I didn't think it would happen yet. But I was and like, I'm like, Akatar. And then when they went into the house, and, and it was just like different. It was an older, and we have always said, Crescent City is a modern time where Akatar is an old fashioned thing. I kind of picture, I don't know what you guys think. I think Throne of Glass is an in between. Mm. It's almost Almost like I feel like Akatar. You guys could. I mean, we all have our own thoughts on this. You guys might not agree with me on this, but I feel like Akatar is like the older setting. It's almost, but there's not like super old, but like it's older. There's they don't have cars and phones and you know, and then I feel like in Throne of Glass, it's almost an older slash getting a little bit more updated and modern, and then this one is your more modern, and. Oh my gosh, it was so fun to go back. And then when they're going into the like the house, I was like, is this, this is Prithian. This is it. Prithian. I call it Prithian. Prithian. That's what, no, I don't that's know. it. I think mean, okay. I call it Prithian too, and I'm just not saying. I, you I know, can't think. You know, I, I, when I first got to that chapter, um, I, you know, cut grass. I don't know why, but I, I remember thinking, I, my mind just automatically shot to the river house, right? Obviously. That's what I was thinking right away yeah. when they walked in. But then I, was like, I, was, I too didn't quite, I was like, okay. But then when it said, um, the leather, lev, leathery wings and then the scarred hands, I was like, and then the dagger, I was like, oh, <gasps> that's real. That's yeah. Real. They're here. But there was no mention of his shadows, which is usually mentioned when you describe Azrael. So then I was like, well, oh my gosh, this just set up more theories. More theories. Oh my gosh. I was like, okay. Yeah. And then like, through the book, the similarities, um, like Sarah brought up, which yeah. Okay. They teleport. Well, in Akatar, they winnow. It's winnowing. You know, um, we had a couple other ones that we were saying like Rune and Azrael. I mean, sorry, Rune and Reese. They both have... The, the, I just the Demonte skill, the, the mind talking. Well, and the fact. Their coloring of the eyes. Yeah, the fact and the, that she thought look. when she yes. saw Reeson, she brother. thought, Rune? Like, she said Rune? Yes. And then he's like, I'm Reeson. Yeah. <laughs> By the, hello, Bryce Quinlan. My name is Reeson. I was like, oh. <laughs> what? I know. So, um, oh. I, I, um, am really excited to see how it's they're all I mean how it's gonna go like how is she gonna do is she gonna stay a long time are they gonna help her with her power obviously I think they're gonna help her with her powers Hunt. 
and uh, and, yes. Hunt and and Rune and um I uh, Declan, Declan, Ethan. No, but um, who's captured? Hunt. And oh Rune yes. And, Oh, who ba is it? Ba Baxian. Baxian. Which, okay, Baxian. Yes. I loved him. I was loving him for when he was like coming in more, and Hunt was like, Why the hell is he here? I know. <laughs> and that I was, was like, a twist, too. I was like, Who is he? I was like, I wonder, like, because you know, he kept coming and saving them and stuff. And I was like, I'm like, Watch, because I was seeing everyone saying, like, I was seeing on Instagram, I was like flipping through them, but I was seeing people be like, oh my God, for the ending, right? So I knew it was something. So I was like, I really like Baxian, but watch with how everyone's saying he's going to do something. I'm like, oh man, I loved Baxian. I am so glad I was, I didn't believe it fully, but I'm so glad that Hunt and Bryce are mates in Endgame. I was like, not for, and now we know that uh, Fairy, like he, engaged in and then yeah <laughs> all these things you know there was so much going on and then you go to Danica and the, poor, I felt for, I, we felt for Bryce because she's again learning that her best friend has kept things from her now we were discussing this we get to keep like her to, safe this the, the certain safety. things like when in the first book when she didn't tell about the the scent and like yes. certain things because she didn't want Bryce and the horn because she didn't want Bryce to get hurt and thrown into it so right. she kept that secret but I felt for her when, when it came the to whole when, yeah to find out that she keeps and she out and you, Bryce was hurt Bryce was taken out on Baxian um you know and that he, he was their friend. enemy he was their enemy and. Danica and Bryce, or Danica and Bryce, Danica and Baxian were mates. Or, yeah, they were mates because she's dead. But, yeah, and you But know, she was hurt to learn that, that her best friend didn't tell and her. And I felt for her, too, because there's so much that keeps coming up that, like, she had no idea on, on Danica. And I was like, you know, I get that. Like, that's your best friend. I could see how you're like, how did I not know all this? But then you kind of see why. I mean, the whole mate thing, they were enemies. And she was trying to figure out a way to live with him. To and that she, was dangerous. Yeah. And so she couldn't even risk and telling. And mates are mates. Listen, you don't mess with the mates. So. And, yeah, and she couldn't risk telling. Um, she wanted She to. couldn't risk telling even her best friend that she was mated with Baxian. Um, because he worked for Sandriel. And... Ugh, but yeah, I I did tell Sarah too. I really liked how Danica was still brought up a lot. Like we're, we kind of like she's in the story that you really get to kind of know her on different, not know her fully, but know her on different levels. Like yeah. I kind of like that she's kept alive in it. Even Connor had a lot that came up, you know, like and and Ethan. I I really loved Ethan too. Yeah. Ethan was just. And how, I'm so glad he finally got a family, and it was just so cute when like, he was yeah, hurt. Home. And was it Flynn that said, You're "So when is he ready to come home?" home. And like, home. he was like, "What?" <laughs> and you know, even at his in the um, ending, is it not the prologue? Um, what's that ending? The scene? epilogue. Like, the epilogue. Yes. Where Ethan's like, "My pack needs me," and he's talking about Flynn, Bryce, Hunt, and yet he still saves the fender. I just. Everything. Yeah. There was so much going on in this book, like Sabine, Hypoxia and mad. Celestina. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I wasn't expecting that one, but uh, and then day and night. Um, we the had, hind. I call it the hind. I call it the hind. Um, about day being the hind, working for the Asteri, and then the whole um, the Fendir the. Who know that? Who knew that Sabine was not the last of her line? And and I thin well, and got her. I just you guys, I'm I'm in love. I really thoroughly I, yeah, enjoyed it. I can't wait for like I'm I'm hoping. I don't know if it will happen, but like if Declan Flynn and Rune meet <laughs> Azriel, Cassie, and Reese, yeah, like, they're all like <laughs> the same. Like it's like Declan and Flynn are. Azrael and Cassian to Reese as and they are Rune to Rune. And is Reese. Yeah, it's just... And I really and love Hunt. it. Oh, my God. And then the sprites. Yeah. How they're, like, were, like, all over Flynn. Yeah, like, like, his cheerleaders. I loved says. it. Yeah. Uh, and I loved how he was with, um, I can't say her name, the dragon sprite. It was, she was like, I'm, I'm and he's like, uh, she leaves to go to the Viper Queen, and he sees her, and I, and he, like, was like you're here or whatever. And then he's like, I'm coming back for you. And she's like, I can't remember. But she's kind of like, you're not worth my time type thing. And he's like, we'll see about that. Sweetheart. <laughs> so I'm like, I just 
loved it. Oh my goodness, yeah. It was just, I loved all the side characters. Um, it was great. It was yeah, really good. it was good. I and think we're more talking about it than anything. I just think we were so, like, I don't even know if this is, like, I feel like we're just ranting. It's just a rant talk it's a right now. spoiler review. It was, I know, but I it's just so, like. I did see a lot of reviews. I, I said in the non-spoiler that there was a lot of people who didn't like the ending because they don't like the multi, the intertwining of the universe. I'm all for it. I, for one, I'm like, yes. This I loved is, it. This is what I, you could tell she's been planning this. For a very long time. This was her plan all along is to intertwine these worlds. And I'm like, I think someone mentioned in a review about like, how is Reese going to deal with like a cell phone? I'm like, who cares? I don't, yeah. I'm like, like, like they'd I, be that's, fun. So at least in my worries, I'm thinking like, how is he going to deal with this guy's yeah, power? It's like, like how, how is he going to see this? Bryce going react? into their world is going to be totally archaic to her. Like it's just, it's going to be something well, different. She already can't understand them. First of all, she has to speak the old Fey language to um, Reese. So well, not smart. to, well, yeah, to Reese and to Amran. They can only understand her. Um, so I don't know. I'm, I'm very interested to see how he reacts to her, how he's going to react to Rune. Um, I did tell Sarah, too, like, with Hypaxia being the med witch, and she's the true uh, queen of the witches, I said that's the other thing that ties it into more Throne of Glass and um, how we, like, I said, I really think you need to read Throne of Glass because you learn a lot about the, right. the covens and, mm -hmm. did I say right, coven? Coven. Um, covens um, in Throne of Glass. And I just, that's what I was saying, I just saw, like, a lot of vibes of Throne of Glass, yet you have your aspect of Akatar. I did. I don't know. Uh, yeah, that, yeah, it was just, uh, it was just amazing. Um, and you know, Prince Adis and Apol Apollyon, Apollyon, was it called Apollyon? Mm -hmm. um, I'm interested to see more of them as well, because obviously she was trying to get to hell, um, to get Prince Adis, but she ended up in Perithian and I was just like, <laughs> yeah, it was just, so obviously, I I think that um, they're probably gonna help her with her powers. Reese is gonna help her. I kind of got um, air of fire uh, vibes from Throne of Glass that she's gonna go like when Selena goes um, and she meets Rowan, and then she finds out who she truly is, Aelin, and and all this type of stuff, and like she has to hone in on her powers and learn about them. I think she's gonna be something similar where she's now. We're recent in Feyre and all of them are going to start to help her get knowledge, power, like really hone in on things. And it's all going to like start to come together. And especially, um, um, Prithian is where, um, the Steri want to really. Yeah. You kind of pick it when, um, Bryce is obviously when she's in the, that room that, um, it's talking about all the worlds they conquered. And then, um, what is the guy? Regulus? Regulus? Regulus, Regulus yeah. is talking to her, saying, like, um, we are, you know, the Fae are from a world of um, magic and, you know, blah, 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 of Fae. But it's just, they're going to conquer that and because that's the one world they haven't gotten yet. So they tried to get Hell, but Hell skittered them out and... Yeah. Yeah, they're like, we're, we're so not funny. even going to hell. We're going to go bigger. I don't know, guys. And you just... know, they're going to have a hard time with that one because there's I... so many Fae that have so. And the Dust Court. Who else picked up on the Dust Court? Yes! Yes! And yes! that's. That's the court that's been missing when Nesta the, went. Yes, yes, the under the mountain. Like, wasn't it the first court before it became the under prison, the mountain? Right? Yeah. I, right? The prison, right? Right? The prison, or not the prison, not under the mountain. It's the prison. You're right. Yeah. I'm sorry. When I Nesta like, went, yes, and, and how they were thinking that they we learned from Nesta's point of view. Yes, that there was, <gasps> and to learn that the Asteri lured because Thea, um, which is Prince Adis's lover. She was the starborn queen with the star in Who her chest. Like, um, She's from the dust court, right? Yes. yes. So that court was lured to Midgard by the Asteri, and that's from Akatar. I know, and we knew the dust court was going to be coming into we, we that that was in one of our theories how the dust court was one of the other courts in Akatar. Yeah. And it was gone. And there was something I said under the mountain. I meant like where the prison was. And because they said you're from a little it's like a island, you know, 
a part of Prithian, but it's like an island. It's just another court yeah, that and it was, I think I yeah. think that's totally gonna come to play now. Oh my god, you guys, I loved it. You guys got I just So yeah, we've heard that Crescent City three will be the yes. next one. We don't know for sure. Obviously Lizette said it. it and then sense. I kinda read that that's gonna be your next one. Now Obviously, that we're getting that guitar in it. I'm okay. Yeah, she's supposed to. She's setting it up. So yeah. we're gonna have to. I don't know. We'll see, but we may have to wait a little bit longer. Wait till we get Bryce, so uh, Bryce, Aylin, and um, Favra all together, and all the other, and all the other ones, and all the I other think hotties. It's gonna be so cool. It's it gonna be, such, and it's gonna be a it's, series on that. It's all these powerful people that have different powers coming together and they're all going to interact and I just think that is amazing I think that's why I love this it's like I love fantasy because it's just all these I think different we're things reading, we're like Whoa! <laughs> my daughter's like what's wrong like, oh my gosh it was so good <laughs> last night I I finished it so late I was like at like 12 30 and I was like I can go to bed and then I was up till I was up till probably 1 30 1 45 looking like reviews what other people there thought there are so many theories, theories right now i just was so just like oh. we'll be coming to you soon because not oh, so, oh alexa stop thank you <laughs> her dinner is ready um anyways <laughs> sorry <laughs> um yeah i just can't wait to this is all i want to think about right now i don't want to think about anything else i just want to like dig into this but anyways, I think that's kind of it right now. We just were so blown away. We loved every darn second. We were so excited. We were just like, oh! What did you guys think? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Um, yeah, were you, guys, you okay? It doesn't bother you. We will see TVs and cars and cell phones. Yeah, happy. I don't care about that. I'm like, I just am so excited to see him, like, I don't know. And then Bryce to see them. And then, oh, <sighs> a throne of glass eventually coming. I mean, we learned also, I'm sorry. We learned um, that the shifters were from the throne, mm -hmm. throne of glass fey world because there's two different phase. Um, that's what that is what Regulus told Bryce that there's two different kinds of fey and obviously throne of glass and Akatar and Sarah's Crescent gonna read City. throne of glass. I told her she has to now. She's read the first. She's read the assassin's blade. I kind of was like, oh well, because I already know what happens. I already yeah, know what's going she, on. But, I mean, I, there's so much that happens. In there. I know. She's like, and like Sarah's been spoiled by us because we'll say stuff like, oh, and throne of glass, yeah. or whatever. But I think she has to read it because it, it just still start to like, you know. And you need to know so when they do all come together, you need to know like, you what know, happens. everything. Well, I have a year at least with whatever book comes out. So, <sighs> well, yeah, and who knows when Aelin will come into play? I don't know. But anyways, guys, oh, tell us what you think. And we thank you so much for following us and watching our videos. Sorry it took late. We were, I was gone. But um, we have lots of videos to film coming up. We have book reviews that we haven't gotten to and everything. And now more theories. A War of Two Queens is coming out, which uh, we're super excited about. Can't wait to hear but, what happens in that one. Yeah, I know. But we are so thankful for all your support and you guys following us and watching us. And we will, I don't, we just, we're just, I just can't just <laughs> walk. I'm just like so yeah. excited right now. But anyways, thank you. We hope you can subscribe to our channel and like our video. And we'll be here soon with some more theories and more. We got to try to find Rune's extra scene and, um, Therian. uh, Therian's extra scene. We have the, um, Bryson Hunt extra scene, which it was good, but there's nothing like, it, it was just anything, what they were doing. What they were doing during, and meeting up. Yeah. Like it a, wasn't anything It's like a deleted like, scene. We got to find another one to see if there's anything good, but this one was just a basic scene. I don't think we really need to figure And a let's just hope Rune and Hunt do not get tortured too bad with where they are. I know. That broke my heart. Hunt. Yeah, I know. We didn't even mention that. Hunt. I know I it's know. the end of the video, but Hunt getting, being enslaved again. And they thought it was, and then there'll be rune and. Oh. But hopefully the hind will. Well, I think it's good that the hind is there. She's a rebel. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> we can love, stop. Yeah, it's not good day. <laughs> Anyways, we will see you soon, very soon, with more videos.